right, so let's be honest. I'm in my My Hero shirt. Um, I look kind of a mess, you know, maybe just a little bit. But I had an idea. And I think it's idearing. So I have like a huge TBL. Let me actually just pull it up. I don't know how edited this video is going to be because I hate editing. Um, let's go on my story graph profile. Let's look at my TBR. It's huge. It's humongous. Like 120 bucks. That's a bit ridiculous. So I was thinking, what do I do? What do I do? Bingo! A lot of people on YouTube do book bingo. This is not an original idea maybe i'll link some below if i can find somebody so yeah it's not i'm not like a genius Ooh, Woo not a genius at all but i was thinking like i go i do you know b1 to 075 assign a book to it um and then i have to read that book but that's not really bingo that's just picking random books so i have these like templates from my free bingo cards.com. So I have no patience. So I'm mixing, I want to mix this with my book buying ban. So I don't have patience for that. So I think I'm going to do two cards at a time. So I have two bingo cards open. And if I, um, if I pick a book, read a book, I get to like gink it off the bingo card. But I'm trying to figure out what to do with DNFs. Because I want 2022 to be the year of DNFing. So, like, if I DNF a book, does it automatically count because I gave it a try? How long after giving it a try do I DNF? <laughs> How long do I DNF? before you know let me adjust this i feel like i really i really am free him there we go oh, no oh, there we go how long do i give a book a try before i dnf it so i'm thinking what should should dnfs not count should I just take it off and re-roll and don't get a bingo or should a DNF only, should I count the DNF after I unhaul it? Which will give me a way to unhaul books that I am definitely, you know, not going to read. Food for thought. Don't know yet. It's like 8.30 in the morning. I'm just vibing at this point. So yeah, backless bingo. And then I'm thinking every time I get a bingo, I get to buy a book. And... Not immediately, like build it up because my TBR is out of control. Uh, this does not count special occasions, so like if I travel, I'm buying books. That's just a fuck of life. So, yeah, I think I think that's the plan. I think that is the plan of what to do. This is gonna maybe I should do my first one now because this minute this is gonna be like three minutes unedited. So, uh, I searched up a random bingo caller and I got Let's Play Bingo IO. So, let's see. I've actually already assigned books to the bingo numbers. I organized my TBR by, what do you call it, by release date or something like that. I don't know. So... Let's see, um, start a new game. Oh, they don't say it out loud. Okay, so. Uh, I guess I'll show you all my thing. I'll take little clips on my iPad. I hope the sound quality is good because I am, I do not, um, I don't know what my mic is. Okay. Oh, y'all could see all of my business up there. Okay. 
This is, this is terrible. Okay. So the first number we have is B2. And I've immediately lied because all of this is not backlist. Uh, a couple things did pump up from like my up next. So B2 is actually Mr. Seth, Mrs. Seth, which is really good because I I really, I've been wanting to read that since I first got that. Uh, is B2 on any of these cards? No, it's not. Do I still have to read it? Yeah. Should I add more bingo cards? Four, five. Should I be one of those people who like play play with five bingo cards? Maybe maybe between four and six. But yeah, there's no there's no B twos on any of these. How many? I guess I should call five. I should call five because um that's what people do. Okay. So B two. Uh oh, you could choose a you could choose a pattern. Uh, let's call the next number. And we have B30. No, not B. N37. Can't read. And N37 is Wolves of the Color. So, I guess the next set of rules. Uh, Wolves of the Color is actually a sequel. I'll find the books and I'll come back and show you them. But it's actually a sequel to a book I'm currently reading. So I'm going to count that as the current book. And if I finish the current book, it counts. Is there an N37 on any of these? No. Yeah, I put in up four cards because I will never buy a book in this in this case, in this instance. Okay, let's call the next number. Okay, we have G50. And G50 is Infinity. I actually have no idea what this book is about. I think I borrowed this from a friend. Can I find it? No idea. Oh. Oh, it's because I'm resting on the track pad. Oh, whoop. I guess I can, uh, I guess rest it, rest it back like this. Okay. So that's three. Let's call it fourth number. And we have, where is it? B14. Okay. So B14 is actually Prince Caspian, which is literally the part of the series I'm on. I just finished The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. That works out perfectly. Prince Caspian it is. Hello, Prince Caspian. Uh, B14. Ah! It's on the first card. I realize you can't see the second card, but I'm going to move around this bulky iPad like, like, mm. I'll post up a picture when I'm done of everything. So we have one more. One more to make five. Call the next number. So we have... Oh, I accidentally pressed six. I guess it's still six. So I accidentally pressed it twice. So we actually have G59246 and 073. Let's go with it. Let's go with it. G fifty nine. G fifty nine. Sons of the Pope. Actually, have no idea what that is. That's on my Kindle though. And O seventy three knife point. Also, have no idea what that means. Pretty sure that's on my Kindle too. You know, I speak of when on um the Kindle store and finding these like ninety nine cent books, and I'm like, the Lord has blessed me today um uh, let me go find well i already found two knife point and sons of the pope are most definite out <laughs> 
9.7 the Popo most definitely on here. Uh, let me go grab the rest of the books and bring them up. I'm back. I have the books and I have my Kindle and I have a bowl of cells sitting off scene, cooling down for breakfast. I love cells. Um, it's been a while, so let's let's go in numerical order. So B two. I rolled and I got Mrs. Death, Mrs. Death. Is this Read Caribbean? Pretty sure this is Read Caribbean. So this book is about death. I think she's a black woman who is tired of like doing what she does and she finds a writer to go and like write a memoir for her intriguing, interesting boop. B14 was Prince Caspian. Uh, I lied. Prince Caspian is actually book four. Horse and His Boy is book three. So I'm gonna, even though I pulled this, since it's a series, I'm gonna read the next in line book. I got these children's copies of the Chronicles of Narnia from the Logos book cruise. I actually think I have the horse and his boy somewhere in the eye numbers. So I'm just gonna swap Prince Caspian in that and count this. So B14, Prince Caspian, but technically horse and his boy. Uh, two. 50. No, pfft. no, I skipped one. N37, I pulled Wolves of the Kala, which is uh, book what? Book five of the Dark Tower series, but I am currently in the middle of reading book four of the Dark Tower series, this big chonka. So I am going to actually count this. I don't think I have this anywhere in my TBR bingo. So I think I'm just gonna, you know, write it in. And then if I finish it, I'll put this back in N37. But yeah, it's the third one. I pulled six. This is not aesthetically pleasing. Um, G50 is Infinity. I actually have no idea what this book is about. Uh, my friend lent it to me in college. <laughs> I've been graduated from college since 2019. He's been gone even longer because he had an associate's degree. So, you know how to tingle. Um, I think it has something magic. Nick is sucked into the realm of dark hunters, immortal vampire slayers who risk everything to save humanity. Nothing about this cover to me screams vampire book, but uh, okay, boss. Four, and I think the next two G59 is Sons of the Pope. Uh, that's on my Kindle. Uh, let's see what it's about. Sons of the Pope. Uh, right down. So, um, blurbs. In Brooklyn, before the murders, before the miracle, before the 1940s were gone forever, there was a tree. If only they left that tree alone. Myrtle, betrayer. I, I'm not, I, I, I don't know. I don't really get, I don't really get the vibe. Okay, so some, some type of intrigue, you know, historical fiction type of thing. And O seventy three was knife bound. No, knife point. Dumb. Knife point. Oh, knife point is actually a sequel, so we're gonna replace it with the first one, which is called Breakers. And a guy's about to lose his girlfriend. Uh, another couple is about to lose their house. Within days, none of it will matter. 
Vanessa dies of the flu, but she isn't the law. Oh, it's like a panorama kind of thing going on. We know. Oh, oh, is it aliens? Hold on, I just catch something months later. A massive vessel appears above Santa Monica Bay. The Walt is attacked by a crab-like monstrosity. The virus wasn't created by humans. So it's a alien panorama. Okay. That's actually quite interesting. Maybe I'm going to read that one first. Okay, so I think Breakers is actually on my bingo too. Okay, so swap. Wow, I remember. Uh, the horse and his boy. The horse and his boy. And then switch out the horse and his boy with Prince Caspian. Oh, what else? What else? What else? Wolves of the color. Wolves of the color. Wolves of the Wizard and glass, right. Wizard and glass. And I'll write wolves of the color to the side to remember that when I finished, I could replace that. And then, uh, oh, here's breakers. So let's do knife point and then put breakers where knife point is. Okay. All right. Here is my first. Here is my first TV bingo. So hopefully, hopefully this is a start to 2022. Why do I keep saying 2020? Hopefully this is a start to 2022 that I can, you know, get and do. But I know. I know dread. But uh, see you guys later. Bye. Oh, should I be a real booktuber and be like, don't forget to like and subscribe. Is there a bingo emoji? I wouldn't know. I'm recording on my phone. My iPad is lost to the... Here it is. Let's do that thing where it's like, if you don't know what to comment, put an emoji. I don't think there's a bingo emoji. No. Wasn't bingo a dog? There's a puppy emoji, right? I don't know why I closed that. Well, yeah, so if you don't know what to comment, if you just want to support, leave a the little puppy emoji down below and i will see you guys later bye